Welcome to Tekidia Daily. I'm WBC Ekekwe. Our topic today is in the beginning computing. Essentially, we'll be looking at the fundamental constructs about what we know today as technology and also computing. I will take you to my secondary school days. I had a very good one in secondary technical school of in, in Abia State, Nigeria. Remember the first day in my senior secondary class, you know, I was an SS1. My teacher came into the class. He was a physics teacher. You know, we had just been promoted from the junior secondary category into the senior secondary category. He told us that you know, I will be taking you students in your physics. And I will be extrapolating the journey you had had in your integrated science, which was what we call a concatenation of biology, chemistry, and physics at the junior category. You know, he explained to us that day that before the end of the 18th century, that the material component of the universe was studied at one aspect of culture called natural philosophy. They say that as time went on, it became necessary to divide nature into two broad categories, called the biological science and the physical science. The biological science is study biology, study of life, divided into botany and zoology, study of plants and the study of animals respectively. And the physical science, you study chemistry, the study of substances and properties, and then physics, the study of matter with relationship to energy. And in between them you have mathematics, the science of numbers. He now went on to explain different elements, components, P-likes, important critical components of physics. It was a very great program. And then I Remember that because of what he was trying to explain about nature, about mathematics. I got accepted at Federal University of Technology, Owere, at one of Nigeria's finest technical universities. I call one day, a professor came in. He was a professor responsible for a class, a course on logical philosophy. He said, Welcome to Futo. This is where they train. Some of the brightest engineers in Nigeria. I will be teaching you a course in logical philosophy. He asked us a question that day: What is the material component of the universe? What is this world made up of? He later explained the world is made up of water, according to Taos, because everything in this earth can actually be put in a molding form. So he explained that I hear Clayton say the world is made up of fire because anything could be burned. But I love what he said about Pythagoras. That was the guy that gave us the Pythagoras theory. He said that Pythagoras noted that the world is made up of numbers. That everything on earth could be given a numerical value. It could be absolute, it could be relative, but the world is made up of numbers. So if the world is made up of numbers, it means that the business of humanity is nothing but the manipulation and the processing of numbers. We live in a world of numbers. And that means our activity and all the things we do, we are just going to have to deal with numbers. We do business, we relate with families, everything is about numbers. So, it's number. And it has to be processed, it has to be manipulated. We have to get better insights so that we can have better relationship. It could be at firm level, it could be at family level, it could be individual level. So that means that someone has to build something that actually improves our ability to possess his number. And they have tried from the time of Abacus, to the time of Sladru, to the time Charles Babbage, invented the difference engine, one of the foremost electronic systems basically used in trying to process manipulate numbers. 
to the time of Uniac, Uniac, until 1937, when Shockley invented the transistor, becoming one of the most quintessential moments in the history of science and technology because it made it possible that we can process signal in the active domain. Before then, we only had these passive components like resistor capacitors and doctors. And he made it possible that we can have transistor. As we are celebrating that invention, von Neumann, a mathematician, gave us a strong protocol concept, making it possible that we can have a better, more grain architecture of the computer system. We are making progress in building systems that can help us to process numbers. Because that world is the world of numbers. And it's the world of computation. But the greatest of all happened in 1957, when Jack Kibbe of Tezas Instrument and Robert Noyes of Intercorporation independently invented the integrated circuit. The vision of integrated circuit changed our world, providing us with what I'll call today unprecedented capacity because it has evolved beyond even our imagination, ability to process and manipulate numbers. It gave us the opportunity, it gave us the capability for us to see ways to understand the world that we live. But even as we experience those powers today, it would not have really been not a young man. In mid-1970, called Bill Gates, the founder of Microsoft, created the personal computer industry. Thereby bringing the world of manipulation and computation of numbers into homes and families, not just for corporations and companies. For all that we see today, artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep machine learning, computational models, algorithms, insights that we are getting from them, from Facebook to Twitter, it is all just doing one single thing. We want to understand our world. We want to have the ability in order to relate. Because in the beginning, the world is the world of numbers. And computing is going to help us to process number. Because if our world is nothing but numbers, anyone that has ability to process that number, we have an age. Because that's all we deal with in this world that we live. And that is also a mission statement. That if you are going into a business, you just have to understand that you are going to participate in that global relationship that connects us, which is London, which is computing. Of course, we have a better name today and call it technology. But if you just look behind it, and below it, the side of it, what is really this technology? It's just figuring out how we can have that elemental process of mechanical advantage. With a little effort, you better get a better output. It gives us the opportunity to basically multiply our efforts, and that's what they call productivity. And that it is what it is. Nations that have the ability, nations that have capability, continents that have the means to actually deploy these processes at scale, better understand the systems where they live, have better understanding about the processes they run, and they always have an edge. In Tekidia Daily, we will be going through technology, going through computing, and looking at how, over time, these things continue to shape our world. I will be your guide. I'm Dubis Ekekwe. And by tomorrow, we'll be looking at the rise of Paga, one of the companies in Nigeria, a fintech, a financial institution or company, is actually taking advantage of some of the constructs of computation, the constructs of technology, in order to improve the financial well being of the citizens. Thank you for listening. See you tomorrow. Thank you.